As a business owner, there's so many things you need to tackle and so many hats you have to wear. Biz Bites is our bi-weekly extra podcast episode where we dig in deeper to a topic affecting business owners and share tactical advice that you can use to grow your business. From Yelp and Entrepreneur Media, this is Behind the Reviews, Biz Bites. Biz Bites, Biz Bites, get a taste of the best advice. Biz Bites, Biz Bites, free tips right by your side. Every topic under the sun, giving you info when you're on the run. Biz Bites, Biz Bites, get a taste of the best advice. I'm Emily Washkovic. Yelp small business expert, and the host of this podcast, Behind the Review. Welcome to Biz Bites. If you have a topic or question that you'd like us to cover on Biz Bites, just send me an email. You can reach me at podcasts at yelp.com. We'd love to hear from you. And just for submitting a question, we'll send you a link to request a copy of one of our current business book giveaways. Let's dive right in. BizBite episode 10. What business owners can learn from Michelin-starred restaurants on Yelp. Now stick with me. This isn't just a piece for restaurants or food businesses. This is actually an amazing article done by my colleague Christy Lindahl that talks about some of the amazing free tools and features Michelin-starred restaurants leverage on Yelp to get more visibility and be found more by people in the area searching for what they do. So I wanted to highlight this great article. You're going to hear some awesome restaurants that are across the country, Michelin starred for the amazing menus and offerings that they have. But the tips and the advice that we're going to cover is great for any industry, any business. It's the basic and most important information and advice for business owners on how to maximize Yelp's free tools. And it's what I would recommend every business do when they add themselves or claim their page on Yelp. The first business is Atelier in Chicago. And the review snippet we use to feature them says... Working quietly and seamlessly, the kitchen delivers a carefully collaborated tasting menu, supported by nearby farms and packed with flavor and originality. And the advice piece for this one is to use high-quality photos. On the blog post, you can actually see these three awesome images from Atelier's Yelp page, and it shows an aerial view of some of their different menu items. You can see all of the fresh produce that they use. You can see the size of the portions, and they're really leveraging images to give people a sense of what's on the menu before they get there. High-quality photos are so important. Whether you're a restaurant or even a service business, whether it's photos of your space, your offerings, your team. For example, showing before and after photos is a great way to display your handiwork. Maybe it's a keen eye for design. Or if you're a house cleaning company, those before and afters of the work that you do. Or a dog grooming service. Whatever your business is, you want to show visuals that reflect who you are and what you provide. And having photos of your team humanizes your business. This is especially important for service businesses who send their teams into people's homes, like plumbers or HVAC providers. And we've heard business owners on Behind the Review tell us that before, too. When they're going out and servicing customers at their homes, building trust and transparency through images and visuals is really helpful and comforting to the consumer. You want to consider uploading photos that back up your business claims, like this restaurant showing photos of the local farms that they source their produce from, or maybe their chefs rolling out homemade pasta dough, giving customers that sense of the behind the scenes and giving them unique items that show who you are and what you do as a business. Businesses can add unlimited photos to their Yelp page. 
It's important that when you add photos, you also caption them. The keywords and phrases that you include in those captions can help you be found in search results. So describe that menu item or that service offering and let people know what's in the photo. The next featured restaurant is Daisy's, also in Chicago. And this particular tip is about business hours. You want to let customers know when you're open and you want to do that in all of the main places they might look. So on your Yelp page, for sure, on your Google business page. The nice thing about Yelp is a lot of other sites pull our business data. So if you have your hours correct on Yelp, they're going to automatically be correct on Apple Maps, on Yahoo, on Bing. But make sure you're also putting it places like your social media bio. You can also add extended closure information in case you're doing a remodel, closed for the season, or even closing permanently. You can also include special hours. So whether you're closed for a holiday or maybe extending your hours to help shoppers secure last minute deals, make sure to use Yelp's special hours feature. It allows you to set different hours for any date in the future. And that way, when that week arrives, your Yelp page will automatically update and reflect that these are not your typical hours. It's a great thing to do monthly or quarterly whenever you're making those scheduling decisions, especially around holiday seasons. Log in, add those dates in the future, and then you can set it out of your mind. The next business we featured is Per Se in New York, and the tool we featured them for is Amenities and Attributes. Amenities and attributes help potential customers understand who you are and what options you provide. Yelp users can filter by amenities to help them narrow down their options when looking for a business that has certain features. For example, outdoor seating or takes reservations. In Per Se's case, someone would know immediately without having to call the restaurant or even click through to their website that there are vegetarian and vegan options available, which can make their decision to book the reservation that much easier. Businesses can also self-identify as minority-owned, such as Black-owned or Asian-owned, and highlight sustainability practices. Little bonus here, if you accept Apple Pay at your business, you can choose the Accepts Apple Pay amenity. Plus, you can request a free signage kit from Apple and download the Apple Pay mark to use within email, on your terminal screen, and on your website. The next restaurant we highlighted is Sushi Naz in New York. I found out while working on this that they're the first sushi restaurant to receive a Michelin star and the first takeout restaurant. So that's kind of cool. The feature we highlighted them for is the specialty section. Specialties aren't just what you offer. They're what you do best. So use this section to set the stage for those inquisitive customers who want to know more about you before they patronize your business. Dive into how you create an elegant ambiance or how you're the first HVAC company to provide a particular service. Let your key differentiators make the purchasing decision a no-brainer for potential customers. The terms and phrases you enter in this section also help you be found when consumers are searching for businesses like yours on Yelp. According to a Yelp study, businesses that add specialties to their Yelp page can receive up to 30% more page visits. The next restaurant we highlighted is Red Paperclip in New York. And the feature we highlighted them for is the Meet the Business Owner section. You can use this section for information about the owner or even a manager. It's a great way to humanize the brand and give that personalized intro digitally so that your Yelp page has a greeting on it from the owner or manager. This can help humanize your business and help customers understand your journey. 
It's a great place to share your mission and talk about the passions that got you into this industry. In 15 to 1,000 words, describe your education or experience, the personal drive you have to solve challenges in your industry, and what matters to you most about running a business. This feature is part of the From the Business section, which is one of the top five ways customers connect with businesses on Yelp. In the month of August 2023 alone, over 8.5 million users clicked the Read More button to expand the field and learn more about local businesses. This section is right by the Specialty section. The next restaurant is Atera in New York, and the feature they leverage is Ask the Community. Yelp users can ask and answer each other's questions about your business right on your Yelp page, based on their experiences. When you as the business participate in the conversation, you not only add authority to the answer, but also show your business's level of customer service and care. Depending on your notification settings, you can receive an email or push notification when a new question has been asked, and surprise and delight users with your timely response. The next restaurant is Le Bay in New York. For this business, we're talking about the importance of review responses. And if you've been listening to this show for a while, you know how important this is to me. Review responses are so impactful. Responding to your Yelp reviews gives you this powerful edge over your competition. It increases customer trust and it attracts new customers. By taking the time to respond to feedback, whether it's positive or critical, it shows current and potential customers that you're committed to customer satisfaction. According to a Bright Local study, 88% of consumers say they're more likely to use a business if they see the owner responds to reviews. Not only can engaging with reviewers build goodwill towards your business, but you can also share your perspective on customers' experiences and be a part of the conversation, whether positive or critical. Responding to reviews enables you to add helpful context or clarity to a situation, thank customers for their patronage, or let reviewers know you'll be taking their feedback into consideration. Adding your voice to the mix helps users understand your level of customer service. And if you have questions, we have folks ready to answer. You can reach out to us Monday through Friday by calling 877-767-9357. Or if you want to reach me directly, you can just email podcasts at yelp.com. And if you want to check out the article that this episode is based on, head to the link in the show notes. Huge shout out to my team who put this episode together. Michelin-starred restaurants are wildly famous, and on Yelp, they get a lot of natural traffic because people know their name or have read about them on a cool list. And the things that they do on Yelp to be found and help customers know more about them before they visit the restaurant are all tips and tricks that you can use, no matter your industry, to attract customers on our platform. So be sure to claim your Yelp business page and start adding information to tell people who you are and what you do. And that concludes our episode. I hope you enjoyed it and were able to take a thing or two away to implement in your own life. Whether it's a new idea that you can bring back to your business or a fresh perspective on how to be a positive influence as a consumer, we share these stories to inspire and create more meaningful connections in your local communities. 